guys, so I am here to do my update for my pregnancy. Um, the last one I did was weeks eight and nine, so I am now 13 days, or 13 days. I am now 13 weeks today, so technically this would be updating you on weeks 10, 11, and 12. So I'm just gonna, excuse me, hiccups, <laughs> highlight um, basically the important things that happened and just go over the normal questions I normally do. So starting with total weight gain, um, I've only still gained a couple pounds. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm doing well and I'm sure this trimester, next trimester I should say, I will start gaining more weight. Uh, maternity clothes. I do still, yes, wear maternity pants um, for like my work pants and then some of my jeans just because they're more comfortable at this point. Um, I, I know I couldn't fit my pants anymore. At least not my like work pants and my jeans. Just no, not happy. I'm not huge, but it's not like I could button them anymore comfortably or I would dig in. Um, but my tops, I can still wear most of my normal tops. Um, I do have a couple maternity shirts that I are really comfy and I've started wearing, but I don't need to wear them necessarily at this point. Stretch marks, none yet. Sleep, I'm still sleeping pretty good, thank goodness. Um, there's only random nights here and there that I have trouble sleeping for various reasons, but I, I'm very lucky still at this point. Best moment of this week, uh, let's see here. Well, let's see here. We haven't really done anything. We haven't really done anything yet, but it's the fact that we decided and planned our gender reveal photos. So we're not doing a gender reveal party. I would love to, but I just don't really have enough friends and family here, or just family really in general, to um, do that and a baby shower. So we're just doing a shower later on. But for the gender reveal photo, we are going to find out in the photo. So I'm so excited. And I posted a preview kind of sneak peek of what it might entail, but I'm not giving away too many hints. Um, I posted it on Instagram yesterday. And miss anything? Hmm. Do I miss anything? I really haven't missed anything, honestly, yet at this point. Let's see here. Too early for movement. Food cravings. I'm still not craving like particular items, but again, still more so savory versus like chocolate and cake and all that good stuff. Although I will have some of that now and then. It's just not like, I need it. Uh, let's see here. Anything make you queasy or sick? Okay, so <sighs> I cannot stand bone or skin. What is it? Chicken, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically the chicken we've always, always bought. We used to cook at home. Um, it's just chicken breast. We buy it from Costco. I can't hand. I don't like it. I don't like the smell. I don't like anything that's cooked with it. Fajitas, uh, Parmesan, anything. Like, I just don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it near me. Just looking at it, I'm like this. Ugh. So, I don't like chicken. Now, I can go somewhere and eat, like, breaded chicken, like, fried chicken strips or, like, something like that. But anything that's not breaded, I'm like, nope. So, none of that. And I haven't really been liking vegetables. Like, I used to love broccoli and asparagus, just, like, baked in the oven with some seasoning. And right now, I just... Uh, Ugh, I'm not feeling it right now. Uh, let's see here. Have you started to show yet? I think I have started to, at least for me and my husband and people that really know me, you can tell that I am showing a little bit. Um, if I go to work in some of my clothes that I have, like some of my tops, you can't really tell. Like right now I'm sitting, you guys can't tell. When I stand up, you can kind of tell, especially towards the end of the day, you can tell that I have something there that wasn't there before. Um, gender, no, we don't know the gender yet. Labor signs, thank goodness, none of that because I'm way too, way too, way too early. Um, belly button in or out, it's still in. I haven't any, I have a feeling though, it's just by the way it looks that towards the end I might, I don't know. I, I'm gonna freak out if it does ever come out, but I just have this odd feeling that it might. You wedding ring on or off, still wearing it. Hopefully I won't have to ever take that off. Um, happy or moody most of the time. <laughs> I think I'm getting better, but at the same time, I'm still very moody. Ask my husband, he will tell you, if he was being honest, he would tell you I'm still very, very moody, because I am. It's crazy. And what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Thursday this week, which is today's Tuesday. I'm looking forward to Thursday. We have our NT scan, so I'm nervous yet excited yet looking forward to it, I guess, because I just want to see our baby again. And we've been using our at-home Doppler 
And if I'm able to, maybe I'll put a little clip in of the heartbeat. Um, I have posted it on my personal Facebook and I posted one example on my Instagram. So if you're on either of those, then you can go check that out. But recently it's been in the 160s, high 160s. So everyone's starting to guess girl now, but I don't know. My husband still has hope that it's a boy. So, or he's convinced that it's a boy still, I should say. Um, other than that, um, I do have a couple things to update you guys on. So my ultrasound, I did have an ultrasound when I was in my 11th week and everything looked great. Baby was measured on time, even actually technically a couple days ahead, but they're like, oh, that's nothing. I'm like, whatever, my child is an overachiever. Can we just say that please? But I was happy to see that it was, you know, at least on time or at least a couple of days ahead. That was awesome. And the heartbeat was just flickering away and it was like, all moving around in there all crazy it was it was really cool because we hadn't seen it really move like that before so and it's starting to look more like a human which again posted those pictures on my instagram so go check that out if you haven't um i do have one kind of scary thing that happened i have i haven't even actually shared this on my instagram so here's one thing you're actually getting first uh hand from my video rather than instagram but let's see here i need to see the date it was, yes, it was last Wednesday at Walmart. So I was in my 12th week then. I was going grocery shopping just to get a few things after work and I felt fine. I was a little hungry, but not like hungry because I had hungry hungry because I ate crackers, drank plenty of water. And I got to the checkout line. I started to feel kind of like sweaty and, and warm and, and just like kind of my lightheadedness. And I, and then like, it was just as longer I was waiting in line to check out, I started like, my vision started kind of just like blurring, like narrowing in. And I was like, oh, this is weird. And it wasn't until he started checking out my things that I got really, really dizzy. And I was like, finally, I said, I'm pregnant. I need to go sit down. And there was a bench like right behind, like behind the register. So I made it over there. I sat down. I felt so terrible. My vision was getting worse. I was trying to like, look at my phone and like text anyone so someone knew what was going on with me and i'm just like i can't i can't even text i felt i felt so sick and then he came to get my cart to put my cart my groceries in the cart and so i was like okay i'm gonna go back up there and i'm gonna check i'm gonna put my cart in. i'm gonna pay and i'm gonna get out of here i was determined and I go, I put my card in, I was getting worse. I felt like, I felt like I was going like this, but I'm pretty sure I probably wasn't, but I was just like, oh gosh. And then the next thing I know, I just like blocked out for a second and I fell to the ground. And then I stood up right away, which I was probably really stupid of me. I probably should not have done that. But I was by myself in Walmart. I was embarrassed probably, who knows. And I got back up and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this is terrible. I felt so bad. I honestly was so scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be okay. I was so worried. But then I made it back to the bench after that. A couple people came and checked on me. Um, and then I finally got a hold of my husband. It was, it was a heck of a time getting a hold of him. Let me tell you, and I guarantee in the future, it will not be that hard because I think I scared the poo out of him, but I <laughs> finally got a hold of him. I waited probably between the time it happened and between, by the time he came and got me, it was probably about 30 minutes. So yeah, that was scary, but I, I talked to the advice nurse line. I talked to my doctor. We, I mean, I didn't go in that night and I have it since, but I've talked to medical professionals and everything and everything's okay. Since then we went home, found the baby's heartbeat. Everything was okay. We've heard the heartbeat many times since then. So they don't know. Uh, I am slightly anemic, but she says she doesn't think it's from that. Um, she thinks it might just be because of the blood flow and the, it may be pooling like since I was standing for a while, it might have been pooling around the certain area and it just pulled the, I don't know, something like that. But it wasn't blood sugar. It wasn't food. I wasn't dehydration. I had so much of everything that day. Like it wasn't even funny. So I know it wasn't any of that. I think it was just a freak thing. I hope, I hope it doesn't happen again, but I don't know that I'll be going grocery shopping by myself again anytime soon because I think I scared my husband, but yeah. So that's all I really have. Thankfully, everything else has been very smooth. No other scares. Uh, but I will just update you guys after my NT scan. So hopefully I'll start doing, being better about getting videos up every week or every other week consistently. So, and the farther along I get, I hope I'm feeling a little bit more energized. <laughs> we can hope, right? 
So that's all I have. Go check out my Instagram, which is linked below, and see some video and pictures there. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. So I realized I forgot to show you guys my belly. So this is with my sweater on. Um, I have to do this for you to see it, because otherwise, like, oh, hey, I'm not really pregnant. <laughs> so this is my sweater on. I'll show you with my, you can't really tell, actually, as well, with my, uh, just my undershirt. But that's kind of where I'm at right now from the front. You really don't notice, but it's starting to stick out a little bit. So that's all I got. I really will talk to you guys later. Bye.